Hello, my name is Justin Kramer, and I'm going to talk to you in this video about converting medical imaging DICOM format into an anonymized NIFTY format. The benefit of this is obviously anonymization allows you to distribute the files without any concerns over PHI, and converting it to NIFTY takes all of these different files that make up a DICOM imaging study and put it into one single file. And it's a lot easier to distribute and to identify which file corresponds with which imaging sequences. So right here I have a head CT that I have downloaded off of PAX in DICOM format. And you can see here uh, this is a single single scan through the head. And it's, it's just a bunch of files that aren't really named according to what they contain. A little bit hard to tell what's going on, and it's not anonymized. So to do this, we're going to use the MRI cron tool, and that's freely available. Um, just search for MRI cron. We're going to use the DICOM to NII GUI software package in the MRI cron tool. So if you open it up, you can see it's a pretty simple interface. Now the first thing we're going to do is anonymize the DICOM. So if you go up to File, Anonymize DICOM, that's how you get started. And just select the folder that contains your DICOM and click Open. And you can watch it work here. It's going to add a bunch of different files that have the same name but now have a DICOM extension. And that kind of helps you identify which files are actually anonymized. So <clears throat> It's finished anonymizing, and if you scroll down, you can see that the non-anonymized files are still here. So just to keep everything clean, I'm going to delete all of the non-anonymized DICOM files. Okay, so you scroll through, and you see everything here has a .dcm extension, and now we're anonymized. So the next step is to convert it to nifty format from DICOM. And if you go over to the DICOM to NII tool and look at the output format options, you can see there's several different options. I'm going to use the FSL SPM8 4D Nifty. The compressed FSL will create a .nii.gz gzip format that'll be a little bit smaller. This will cr create just a .nii file. So once you select the format you want, you go to File, DICOM to Nifty. and select your folder containing the DICOM files. Now, based on which folder you select, that's where they're going to put the nifty file. So my nifty file is going to end up in the same, in this head CT, not anonymized directory, above the DICOM directory. So I'll click Open, and it'll work for just a couple seconds. And you can see that it's finished. I'm going to delete this extra file here. <coughs> and collapse the DICOM tree. So you see you have a, about an 88 megabyte file that we're just going to call headct.nai. And so now you have an anonymized version of the DICOM information that is very easy to, to distribute. And that's it.